Assalamu alaikum and hello. My name is Safwan and I am a fourth year student of the Bachelor of Health Science Pharmacy program in University Brunei Darussalam. In this video, I will talk on calluses, corns and warts, as well as an over-the-counter medication used to treat this type of condition and their preventive measures. Firstly, what are they? Well, they are considered hyperkeratotic lesions, which are overgrowths of keratin, a type of protein that can be found in hair, nails, and outer layers of the skin caused by any damage in the tissue, whether from disease or trauma. For calluses, they are caused by excessive physical stress, such as pressure and friction, which can be a result of a number of factors, such as hematode deformities, where the hematode is curled due to a bend in the middle of the toe joint and bony prominences which are areas of the skin that are too close to the bone, as well as tight or ill-fitted shoes and high activity levels, such as running and cycling. If the physical stress persists, corns can develop. Due to this, corns and calluses often occur on and in between the toes plus the base of the feet. Warts, however, are caused by the human papilloma viruses, HPV, they can penetrate the skin through minor cuts, causing extra cell growth. This leads to the outer layer of the skin turning thicker and harder. The wart virus is very contagious, meaning it can spread via direct contact and even by touching objects. Some people are more susceptible to growing warts than others. They include people who work with raw meat, children who frequently use communal showers such as after sports or at the pool, people with weakened immune systems, such as those who had an organ transplant or those who have a serious disease, such as cancer or AIDS, and people with atopic diseases, such as asthma and eczema. What are the signs and symptoms of corns, calluses, and warts? Calluses appear spread out and evenly thick, while corns have two types. Hard corns are the most frequent type of corn, which is presented as a dry, thick layer of skin with a hard central core. The hard skin has a yellowish beige color, while soft corns are commonly white and softer due to the area of the skin being moist. Due to the wart virus being highly contagious, they can spread throughout the body and can have various forms, such as plantar warts, which affect the ankles and soles the most. They can grow quite large and when you stand or walk, the wart will be pushed inwards, causing pain due to the pressure, making them tough to treat. Common warts are commonly found on the back of the hands, fingers, around the nails, and on your feet. These warts can range from the size of a pinhead to a pea and become rough and scaly to the touch as they harden. Flat warts often appear on the face, especially the forehead and cheek. Hands and lower arms can also be affected. There are little elevated warts that are sometimes light brown in color. Mosaic warts are common on the balls of the feet or under the toes, but can spread to the entire sole of the foot. Unlike plantar warts, they are flatter and hardly painful. Filiform warts are found on the face and appear like tiny brushes. And finally, Genital warts only affect the genital area and are sexually transmitted. Corns and plantar warts can sometimes be mistaken for each other. However, corns have a single visible core, while plantar warts commonly have black to brownish dots, which are caused by clotted blood that has been leaked from very fine blood vessels in the skin. You should refer to the doctor if you suspect that the skin lesion is neither corns nor warts. So how do you treat this condition? For this video, I'm going to share a topical solution that you can get at a local pharmacy for treatment of corns, calluses, and warts, specifically for your hands and feet, which is the LG Corns and Warts Treatment Solution. This solution contains salicylic acid, a keratolytic agent that gradually dissolves and removes the affected skin cells. Before you apply this medication, you need to ensure that you are not allergic to salicylic acid 
or any other ingredients in the solution. If you are unsure, ask your doctor or pharmacist. You should also be under the supervision or recommendation of your doctor if you are diabetic or have impaired circulation. LG solution should be applied thinly and directly on the affected area with the plastic applicator provided. The affected area should be clean and dry before applying. In order to ensure an effective treatment, it is recommended to soak the corn, callus, or wart in warm water for 5 minutes and rubbing the affected area with a pumice stone or a nail board before application and after the solution has dried. This solution should be used twice a day until the corn, callus, or wart is entirely gone. If irritation is felt, stop using the medication until it disappears. Seek medical attention if irritation does not disappear within two days or worsens. This solution is not suitable on moles, birthmarks, and other unusual skin growths as well as around the eyes, face, mucous membranes, and for large areas. It is critical to stick with the treatment and be patient as there are no instant cures for corns, calluses, or warts. The average treatment time is 6 to 12 weeks. As for storing, this solution should be kept away from children and stored in a dry place below 30 degrees Celsius or at room temperature. How do you prevent corns, calluses, and warts? For warts, to prevent further spreading to other areas of the body as well as to other people, you can do the following. When you go swimming, cover the warts with a waterproof plaster. Don't share your towels, shoes, gloves, or socks. At swimming pools, common showers, and changing rooms, do not go barefoot. Do not touch, scratch, or pick the warps, as the virus may spread. Keep your feet dry at all times. Wear clean socks every day. And, if you have previously used pumice stones or nail files on a wart, don't use them again. Press pads, silicone sleeves, and metatarsal pads are often used to reduce further pressure and friction on corns and calluses, plus provide comfort, especially crest pads which are used for people with hammer deformities. Wearing well-fitted shoes is often enough to prevent corns from developing. Now for the questions. Firstly, what are the differences between corns and warts. Corns are caused by repeated physical friction over a lengthy period of time, while warts are caused by the human papilloma viruses. Corns often occur on and in between your toes, plus the base of your feet, while warts can spread throughout the body. Corns have a distinctive core, while warts have a black to brownish dots inside them. Next, what are the different types of warts? There are six different types of warts, which are plantar, common, flat, filiform, mosaic, and genital warts.